What up dudes and dudettes? Captain Bones here, elusive target number 16, the guru. So we're gonna start on the roof as security staff, uh, a couple reasons, uh, the outfit obviously. Make sure you brought a lockpick, I better say that, make sure you brought a lockpick. So we're gonna go through the store, we're gonna destroy evidence, just be careful, there are guards that can spot you through this outfit, so you have to be a little quick. Uh, that guy right over here, he'll spot you, and the guy that was following her will, so I was quick enough to get through this door, I didn't have to worry about it. And there's a guy right there that will spot you, and just don't do what I'm about to do here, turn left, oh, I haven't been in the match in a while, so I made a, <laughs> a big mistake, so, you know, it took me a minute to get back over, I almost got spotted, so just turn right when you come down the stairwell like I'm trying to show you here, uh, there you go. Now, we're gonna go outside, gonna walk all the way back around. Out through the front, and we're gonna go stop at the front of the uh, clock tower. There should be a chef outside smoking. If he's not, this is why you brought the lockpick. But this is the best way to not get spotted because you know nobody's gonna see you picking a lock when it's open. So we're gonna go ahead and go up here. He's gonna go through that door now. Just be careful because in the next area there is somebody that will get you right there. See him? He patrols in and out of that room, so he will be the second worst enemy on this map. And I'll show you the other one. But anyways, uh, this is why you brought the lockpick. He's gone. The door's closed. Go ahead and pick it. He's not going to bother you for now. And boom, there's your target. Hanging out with the uh, the other two that you can't hurt or harm. And uh, we're going to stuff him in there as well as his lawyer or broker, that guy that's with him. But And see her? She is your number one enemy. She will be in this room quite a bit. She makes two stops in here and then one outside of the room. So you're going to have to work on some timing with her, with our target, and with this guy right here, the lawyer. So, uh, here we go. Just It's going to take a few minutes to get the timing just right. Like right here, I, I skipped ahead. See, he's walking out of the room. She is walking to her second spot where she'll turn her back. And he is right there, right for the picking. So there we go. Target out of the room. Take him down. She doesn't see. And be quick about it and put him in the uh, chest because... Our target will come right back into the room, like so. So here we are. I've, I've skipped ahead to uh, show you a good timing moment I had, and it took a few minutes. See, she walks out the door. Bam, he's down. You want to make sure the door closed, obviously. But go ahead, snap his neck, put him back in there. You have to be quick because she will come back in. So that's done. And remember that guy I was telling you about? He's not in the room right now, which is perfect. But you're, he might be in the room for you, you know, depending on your time. See, I just showed you. He's up, up above. So I had a clear path to the finish so I, I took it you know I didn't want to hesitate but just be careful of that guy in the stairwell I mean he's your number two enemy after secretary so anyways there you go um, hitman elusive target number 16 and uh, if this video helped I'm happy for you and I hope you got your uh, silent assassin so uh, till next time peace